p.m. service that we're talking about optimizing our core values. Again, the name is the who, the vision is the what, the mission is the how, and the core values is the why. Amen. So look at somebody and say, why are you doing what you're doing? Why are you doing what you're doing? Come ask somebody else, why are you doing what you're doing? We're getting into our core values. And Ramona, before she just threw the mic down on the podium, she read the scripture, Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 and 23. Paul writes to the church at Galatia, and he says that the fruit of the Spirit, the evidence of the Spirit, the signature of the Spirit, the proof that cannot be faked, the proof that cannot be discredited of the spirit is love, joy, peace, and it goes on and on and on. It does not say speaking in tongues. It does not say dancing and shouting. It does not say falling out in the floor and foaming at the mouth is the evidence of the spirit. It does not say how long your dress is or how high your collar is, that that is the evidence. It doesn't say how many titles you have in front of your name or behind your name, but the evidence of the Spirit, the proof that cannot be discredited is love, joy, peace. And it goes on, long-suffering, gentleness, patience, meekness, goodness, faith, self-control, and it goes on giving us those nine fruit of the Spirit. We believe that there's really only one fruit of the Spirit, and that fruit of the Spirit is love. And love is expressed as joy, as peace, and all of those other uh, fruits or manifestation of love. That there is one kingdom law, and that law is the law of love. And so when we are optimizing our name, our identity, when we are optimizing our vision, our mission, our core values, it is important that you know what's important to you. I said it is important for you to know what is important to you. Why you do what you do. It's not enough just to notice what you do, but you need to know why you do what you do. And that gets into your core values. Look at somebody that's asking, what's important to you? What's, what's important to you? What do you value? What do you find worth in? When you're making a decision, what factors go into you making that decision? And so our core values determine what we do and why we do what we do and the factors that go into making a decision. Every day we're making decisions all day long. Every day we're making choices all day long. We're making choices and those choices and decisions are motivated by our values. You can say what you value, but what you actually do really shows us what your values are. It shows you what is important to you. And so therefore, as a congregation, we have that puzzled heart which says that love is important to us. Because Jesus said, by this shall all men know that you are my disciples by the love that you have one for another. Bullet point number one is that first core value is love. What is the first core value? Love. I can't hear you. What is the first core value? Love. love. Love is the first core value, which means that whenever I'm making a decision, whenever I'm making a choice, the first thing that I consider is love. Through this choice, how am I loving God, how am I loving myself, and how am I loving somebody else? Because it's just that simple, to love God, to love yourself, and then to love everybody else. In that order. Amen. It is just that simple. So my first core value is love. Which means that whatever I do, it is motivated by love. It is to show God that I love you. And we do that through our spiritual practices for the development of the soul. 
We show ourselves that we love us through our eight self-care strategies, and we show other people that we love them through our nine neighbor networking principles. Somebody say it's all about love. It's all about love. And I value you love. Love is uh, the idea and divine mind of universal oneness. That I draw good to me and good is drawn to me by love. That I am one with God. I am one with all life. I am one with the one. So love is where we get the unity from. We get the equality from. We get all of that out of that core value of love. The Bible says without love that we're wasting our time, that our tongues are just a, a tinkling symbol and a sounding grass. It says you can give your body to be burned, but if you don't do it out of love, that it doesn't profit you anything. Though you have all faith and you can move mountains and you have all knowledge and you can understand mysteries, the core value of the Christian faith is love. By this shall all men know that you are my disciples by the love that you have one for another. Jesus said a new commandment. I give you that you love one another. And so to the core, the very essence of my being, if you strip it all down, if you roll it all back, if you dial it all back, my core value, number one, is love. So when I'm checking myself, when I am evaluating, when I am making decisions, I start with Love. How is this demonstrating my love for God? How is this demonstrating my love for myself? And how is this demonstrating my love for everyone else? Somebody says that's a core value for me. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a high five. Give somebody a virtual wave. If that is your core value, if at your core, you are love. Hey, Amen. That's my core. That's where I, that's who I am when I become grounded. When I become centered, when I get away from whatever is going on in the external world, my core value is love. love. Love is what drives me, it motivates me, it stimulates me because my core value is love. love. Now, there's a reason why these fruit of the Spirit are in the order that they are in. The first one, which is all-encompassing, is what? Love, but the fruit of the Spirit is love. The second one is not by accident that the second one manifesting out of love is what? Oh, thank you, thank you. Somebody knows the Bible. Amen. The second one that's listed after love is what? Joy. Joy. He gave me the answer. Amen. Joy is the second one, which means, as we're in this month of zeal, that the second our core value is joy. Yeah. Which means that whatever I am doing, it is either giving me energy or it is taking energy away from me. And so my value is to do things that will energize me and that will energize others. How do you get your energy? I have endless energy to do what is mine to do. I don't know about you, but I value love and I value joy. Joy is important to me. I need to have energy. I got a lot of things on my plate. I got a lot of people counting on me. I got a lot of things that God has called me to do. And so my core value is to pay attention to the people, the places, and the things in my life that are giving me energy. And to pay attention to the people, the places, and the things in my life that are taking away from that energy. Amen. Amen. Joy is the energy. The Bible says joy, unspeakable and full of glory. The joy of the Lord is your strength. You have strength to do it because you have the energy. I have the energy to do what is mine to do. And so when I'm making decisions, when I'm making choices, it's based on energy. I don't desire to be in a situation where I am draining the energy. When I come into a situation, I come to energize it. 
I come to give it energy. Amen. And I, whenever I come, I give energy and I receive energy. As you give that energy, the energy comes back to you. And there is a flow of energy. What in your life is energizing you? What in your life is taking away the energy? Who, who, who drains you and who fills you up? It's important that you know this as a value, that I'm paying attention to my energy. I'm paying attention to the energy that I'm giving off, and I'm paying attention to the energy that other people are giving off to me, because I value joy. Joy is a core value for me. I can't go through life with my lip poked out. I can't go through life with my head hung down. Joy is a core value for me. Not just happy. Because happiness is based on things happening. And I love good stuff happening to me, but sometimes the stuff that happens is not necessarily going to feel good. So even when I don't have happiness, I still have joy. But I like joy in happiness, but if I have to pick between joy and happiness, in this situation, I'm going to choose joy. Because joy is going to give me energy so that I can be happy. Now, let me say that again. Joy is going to give me energy so that I can be happy. So that I can manifest happenings in my life because joy is a core value to me. I don't know about you, but I can't live a sad, depressing life. I don't want to spend a lot of time around people who are not talking positive stuff. People that are always complaining about something. That something's always wrong. Something always is hurting. Something always is bothering them. Somebody is always against them. Somebody is always doing something to them. Somebody is out to get them. That is a drain of my energy. And my core value is joy. I value having energy, giving it and receiving it. Amen. Look at somebody and say, what do you value? What do you value? What's, what's important to you? I can't work on a job that I do not get energy. Amen. I, well, the job that I work on, it's not enough just that they pay me. I need to be energized by what I do. The Bible says, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up on wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. You are responsible for renewing your own strength. Yeah. The Lord is not going to renew your strength. Yeah, you Come on. The, it is something about they that wait. It's not talking about waiting like this. It is talking about waiting like this, that you are a waiter, that you have found something in your life that energizes you, that you found something in your life that causes joy to be released in your attitude, in your essence, in your aura, because joy is a core value for me. When I'm making decisions, I'm deciding about what's giving me energy and what's taking energy away from me. What is energizing me and what is draining me. Amen. Amen. Look at somebody and say, what do you value? What, what, what do you value? What's important? Well, what's important when your core values? What, core, what do you make decisions on? Some people make decisions based off emotion. And how they feel in that particular day. And then they make decisions based upon how they feel. Look at somebody said, don't make decisions off of how you feel. Because your emotions are energy in motion. Your, your energy, your emotions will change. But when you have core values, I make decisions based off of my values, based upon what's important to me. And what's important to me, pulling point number one is what? Love. Love. To love God, to love myself, and to love what? Everybody, Everybody else. Pulling point number two, I make decisions based on what? Joy. Joy. What is giving me energy, amen, and how I am receiving energy, and how I 
am given energy. Amen. Pulling point number three. The third one that was listed in that series is peace. Peace is a core value for me. Love is that universal oneness. It is loving God, loving myself, and loving everyone else. Energy is joy is based upon giving and receiving energy. But peace is the calm assurance that all is well. And peace is a core value for me. That I must be at peace at all times. I got to be at peace. I got to know that all is well within here. Amen. And that you, you're not going to please everybody all the time. Everybody's not always going to like you. Everybody's not going to always appreciate what you have done. But when you know that you've done the very best that you can do, there's something about that that gives you peace. It's something about that allows you to be able to go to sleep at night knowing that I did everybody right. And if I didn't do somebody right, I asked for forgiveness. As my grandmother would say, I beg pardon. That I don't go to sleep unless I'm at peace with everything and everybody. I don't let the sun go down on my wrath because peace is a core value for me. I value peace. Uh, it was said by uh, Myrtle Fillmore, let nothing disturb the calm peace of your soul. Peace is a core value for me. i got to be able to be at peace. As much as lies within you to live peaceably with all people. Oh, blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called the children of God. Peace is a value for me. I can't live in chaos and confusion and contention because peace is a core value for me. I value my peace. Oh, glory to God. And sometimes I got to hold my peace and let the Lord fight my battle. Somebody said, if you do so, that victory will be yours. And sometimes, for peace's sake, I got to hold my peace. I don't say everything that comes to my mind because I value peace. Yeah. I don't bring up all the stuff that I could bring up because I value peace. I don't nitpick right. because I value peace. Yeah. I choose my battles, what I'm going to focus on, what I'm going to give energy to, and what I'm going to let ride because peace is a core value for me. And the peace of God that passes all understanding, it will keep your heart and your mind through Christ Jesus. And I will keep them in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on me. Peace is a core value for me. That's why I meditate. Because right. i got to be at peace. Amen. That, that's why I journal, because I have to be at peace. I value my peace. Uh, when I live in my home environment, I gotta be at peace. There, there, there may be some challenges on the job, and I'll work with that. But when I come home, I got to be able to be at peace. There may even be some challenges, God forbid, in the church. But when I go home, I got to be able to be at peace. You, you might have some challenges at the grocery store and in the community, but when I go home and put my key in my door, but when I go into my room, hallelujah, I got to be able to be at peace. Knowing that there's a calm assurance. I can't live in frustration. I can't live in bitterness and anger because peace is a core value for me. Anybody value a peace of mind? Anybody value a peace of mind? Is that important to you? What is your goal in the situation? Is your goal to be right or is your goal to be at peace? Is your goal to justify or is your goal to be at peace? Uh, you can be right and I'll be wrong as long as I got peace. Be right. You can be right, but we just need to be able to be at peace. 
Because peace is a core value for me. Anybody got some core values? These first fruit of the spirit is how you make decisions, how you make choices in your life, and how you decide what needs to change. Hallelujah. It's got to be pulling point number one. It's got to be about love. Hey, man, I got to love God, I got to love myself, and I got to love everybody else because love is a what? It's a core value. It is the first one. And the second core value is what? Joy. Joy. I got to have the energy. Amen. I, I'm a writer, and because I'm a writer, I write every day. And that sometimes that I feel the energy to write. And sometimes I'm pushing through. <laughs> Anybody know what I'm talking about? Where sometimes you're pushing through because you don't feel the energy. But because I'm a writer, I write every day. So sometimes I'm writing a sentence. Because that's all the energy that I have for the writing. But I'm going to still write something. And sometimes I write chapters. And because the anointing is on me and the joy and the energy is flowing, I can write chapters. In the same amount of time that it took me to write a sentence. Amen. Because the joy, the energy is there. Amen. Amen. And I've learned to go with the energy. Amen. That I'm not going to force a fit. That I'm not going to try to make it. But I'm going to go with the energy. Look at somebody and say, pay attention to your energy. Yeah. How did you feel before you called? Right. How do you feel after you hung up? Somebody said, pay attention to your energy. How were you feeling before you went to work? How do you feel when you got off? Somebody said, pay attention to your energy. Now, now some people, because, jo because they don't value joy, they'll live in chaos and confusion because they haven't learned to value Amen. joy. Joy is so infrequent in their lives that they haven't learned to value it. Let me tell you something. I love my life. Anybody love your life? If you love your life, if you say, I love my life. Oh, I love my life. Oh, I just got to testify for about a couple seconds to say, I love my life. Hallelujah. I love it. I'm excited about my life, about my vision, about my goals, about my dreams, about my aspirations. And it doesn't mean that because my core value is love that I don't run up against fear every now and then. But perfect love casts out all fear. See, when the fear shows up, I go back to what I value. And, and, and as I perfect what I value, which is love, the fear starts to dissipate and subside. And I value love, and sometimes I feel fear. But I won't put my value in the fear. I'm going to put my value in the love. Some people, they put too much energy in talking about and thinking about what they're afraid of. And not enough energy into what you love. Yeah. Woo, hallelujah. Uh, look at somebody and say, do you value love or do you value fear? Yeah. Yeah. No child is scared of this. And, and I don't know what's going to happen about that. What do you value? I value love and perfect love. It casts out all fear. Sometimes we're casting out the love because we're putting too much emphasis on the fear. value. Look at somebody say, remember, 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 remember. Remember that love is what you value. Love is what's important. Yes, yes. And as I focus on my core value, which is love, then what happens to the fear? It starts to dissipate. Perfect love. It casts out all fear. And when I feel weak, I go back to my core value, which is joy. And the joy of the Lord gives me strength. I don't focus on my weaknesses. I don't give too much attention to that. I go back to my core value, which is joy. And joy gives me strength. Yes. Ooh, the Lord is my light and my 
my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Did y'all see that love and joy right there in those verses? He says, whom shall I fear? Because the Lord, the law, what I value. The Lord, the law. Is my salvation. That's what wakes me up. That's what brings me back to my true essence, to my core, to who I really am, to what I really desire, to what I really believe. Right. So I value love, so I don't focus on fear. I, I value joy, so I don't focus on weakness. I allow the joy of the Lord to be my strength. Because joy is my core value, peace. It's my core value. And so even though there's a storm that's going on, the so song says, oh, the storm keeps on raging in my life. Ooh, I got peace. I got, I got the peace to the storm, and I can speak to the storm and say, peace. Be still, because I value peace. So if peace is not manifested in my external experience, I go back to what I value. I don't value the storm. Some people value the test, the trial, the tribulation, the temptation, the heartache, the pain. That's what they value. They wear their struggle like a badge of courage. Like a badge of honor, their war stories and all the stuff that they've been through and all the people they lost and all the struggles they had and that's what they bear. But I value peace. I've had some storms in my life. Anybody ever had some storms in your life? But because my value is peace, when the storm comes, it brings me back to my core. The storm shows up in your life to bring you back to your core. To say what's really important. Is it the storm or is it the peace? And so I speak to the health storm. And I say peace. Be still. Sickness, pain, disease, discomfort, and dysfunction. It has to cease. And desist because my body is operating in peace. Every system, every organ, every muscle, every tendon, every cell is in harmony. All is well with my body. I dare you to declare and decree that peace in your health, that all is well. I wish somebody would lift your hands and declare that there's peace in my body. Every system, every organ, every cell, every muscle, every tension. Oh, I know you got a diagnosis that puts you in a storm. I know you got a problem that put you in a storm. But go back to what you value. Yeah. That I am fearfully and wonderfully made and that my soul knows right well. Go back to the core of your being, which is hell. Yeah. Yeah. Speak to that sickness and say, peace, be still. I know you have some relationship challenges sometimes. Uh, let me speak for me. I know I have some relationship challenges sometimes. Amen. And instead of fussing and cussing and fighting and saying things that you really don't mean and packing your stuff and unpacking your stuff and know you ain't going nowhere. Instead of calling up all your friends and telling it's over. Instead of putting the status on Facebook. Uh, everybody know who you're talking about. Look at somebody say, everybody know who you're talking about. All your friends know who you're talking about. So instead of putting the status on Facebook, go back to your core. And say, I speak to the chaos and the confusion and the contention and this relationship. It's out of alignment with my core value. So I say, peace. We all just get along. Peace. And whenever the Lord says peace, there is peace. Whenever the law says peace, whenever I go back to my core value, there is peace. But sometimes. 
sometimes you're having some financial challenges. Amen, somebody. And it looks like lack. And it looks like limitation. And it looks like scarcity. And it looks like not having enough. Somebody says it's just taking you back to your core. It's just taking you back to your core. The financial storm is designed to take you back to your core. Yes. Yes. And my core is increased abundance, overflow, and more than enough. So I speak to the financial storm and I say, peace. Be still. And I say, abundance manifests. Because that's my core. That's my core. Now, I, I came to shake you to your core. It came to bring you back to what's important and what you really value. Yeah. What do you value? What's really important? Love, joy, and peace. That's right, nigga. Love, joy, and peace. It's not love, joy, or peace. Can I say that again? Yes. yes. It's not love, joy, or peace. That I know that I've made the right decision. When I have love, when I have joy, then when I have peace. How do you know that that's what the Lord said? Because I got love, I got joy, and I got peace. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, my idea and manifestation. I got love, joy, and peace. I got the triplets. I got, I got all three of them. And therefore, sometimes I feel the love. But I'm not too sure about the joy. So I just keep working with it. Somebody said, keep working with it. Yeah. Sometimes I feel the joy, but I, I, I'm not yet at peace. Look at somebody said, keep working with it. Sometimes I have the peace, but I don't feel the love. Somebody said, keep working with it. Until your core values, and you may have 10 core values, but the core values of the spirit. You are a spiritual being. Wow. Made in the image and likeness of God. <laughs> so even though we might have different specifics of what the love, joy, and peace looks like, we all have the same core values. Somebody said love, joy, and peace. Uh, come on, lift your hands and worship God for love, joy, and peace. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for manifesting in my life, in my world, and in my faith. Love, joy, and peace.